So I decided to get some of my winter squash in the canner today. As you can see, it's a great big squash and we, um, we love these squash, but I usually can a lot of it just because they're so big and, and it won't keep for um, in the cooler for very long. So I like to can it. I, I use the squash for everything. Like, okay, so you buy Libby's pumpkin in the can, right? This is similar to that you would um, use this the same way, canned pumpkin. It's most famous for making pumpkin pie, but I use my pumpkin the same way. I can my pumpkin. Um, I do not puree it, however. That's against the rules of canning, I think. <laughs> At least that's what the rules say. I've, I've never done that. Um, I know some people who have and have had canning failures. So I just chunk mine, and then I'm gonna can it in the pressure canner. But I use it the same way you would canned pumpkin. I'll make pumpkin bread a lot. That's one of my family's favorites and it's really easy. I always take it to potluck. And um, pumpkin pie, of course, that's the most common way to use canned pumpkin. But I, I like to use it in soup too. Um, those of you who have an immersion blender um, have maybe made your own squash soup. And Someday I'm gonna get one of those immersion blenders because it makes it really easy to make creamed soups. So those are just some examples of how I use my canned pumpkin. So basically I'm gonna, just gonna finish chopping these up. I'm gonna put them in the jars and get them in the canner. It's a super easy process. I don't even cook it first. I put the raw squash into the jar Top it off with water straight into the canner. And we'll bring you back and show you the finished product. I have all of my jars done. You'll see that I have a little bit of liquid loss. That's actually really normal when you're canning. Um, I think that it's rather impossible to keep that from happening. Um, the pressure builds up in the jar and it bubbles and it's natural to have some water loss. It doesn't ruin your food. Your food is completely preserved. It's fine. As long as you've got a good seal, then you're good to go. When I'm ready to use this, I'll just open the jar and I'll drain all of the water. And then I will mash the pumpkin to use in a recipe. So you know those 15 ounce cans of pumpkin that you buy in the store, it's usually the Libby's brand. Um, that is the equivalent of what you will get from this when the water is drained and it's mashed. So you'll be ready to use it in a recipe. So this is the same variety of pumpkin that I can today. This is actually a medium to small one. The one that I did today was slightly larger, but it gave me about seven jars, enough to fill my canner for one time. Uh, the seeds are available on our website if you would like to purchase them. If you enjoyed this video, please check out this list of amazing people on your screen. These are our patrons and they make all of our videos possible. They are the executive producers of our show. For more information about our patrons, go to patreon.com slash anamericanhomestead. In the meantime, please check out the videos on the left. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on An American Homestead.